I'm back, baby. Yes, sir. It's back. Wow, it's weird. Wow, it is weird. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, welcome to the new, improved Let's Talk Tendies podcast, baby. Never thought I would bring this thing back. Long story short, hi, my name is Tendy. You can call me Carter, Tendy, Chicken Tendy, Chicken Tendy Gaming, yada, yada, yada. If you're on Spotify, what's up? What's up, guys? I'm my name is Chicken Teddy Gaming. My name is Tendy Carter. Whatever you want to call me. What's up? How we doing? Uh, I am the host of the Let's Talk Tendies podcast. Now, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been it's been a really really long time since I started the Let's Talk Tendies podcast. Um, and a lot of a lot of people might not know what it is. So I'm going to give a quick little rundown of what it is. But first off, I'm really fancy like we got an intro. So quickly roll the intro. All right, intro, name, a lot of this. This is the first episode back, uh, and it's actually going to be the first episode I think we're going to start from. If you are new to this series, and if you are new to my channel on YouTube or my Spotify, consider hitting a follow. Consider throwing a follow, a sub. I don't know what they call it yet. I'm still figuring out the terminology. I really got to get out of this uh, this PlayStation. Sorry, I got it. I was about to play Chell. I was about to play Chell. And I got a message from my homeboy, uh, Joner, who is a part of the Yappy Hour podcast. Uh, he sent me a video message of him. He was recording his podcast, and he's like, it shot up mine. I'm like, oh, yeah, I should probably record an episode of that, at least the first episode. So this episode is it's it's the first, technically. And I say technically because it's not... The first episode of this podcast I've done, but it's the first on the under the new rebrand. This episode or th- this podcast I brought up and I had actually when I was around fifty to a hundred subscribers, somewhere around that general th- that facilities. You don't have the facilities for that, and that's <laughs> and it, and it was it was fun when it lasted. I interviewed my friends. I got some other people on it and it uh, just it was pretty good it was live streamed which i quickly came to realize not the best idea for a podcast because topics can change so quickly chat can be missed you can be so deep in conversation it's it's it, you don't have the production value you got to rely on wi-fi you gotta this and that but i am i i, I eventually after some consideration i kind of can't quietly canceled it and the reason was is I forgot. The real reason is I, I forgot about it for a while. Um, I think it was maybe 12 episodes. Uh, you can actually still find them on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you look up Chicken Tiny Gaming, no spaces, capitals on T G C T and G. Uh, or you can look in the description of this podcast if you're on Spotify or even just in my channel if you're on YouTube. Uh, you will see the old old videos. They're actually in the live streams. I think they have their own little section of the pod, uh, own, own own little section somewhere in the the playlist. Uh, I'm not going to be putting them up back on Spotify. I think that's kind of just a little bit of a waste. Uh, and considering there it was this pod is choppy and internet cut out and it restarted a bunch of times. It, it it doesn't make a lot of sense. So what what is what is the Let's Talk Tendies podcast? It is my podcast. It is a podcast where we sit here and we talk. We talk about whatever. We have topics. You guys can send in topics um, in the comments, uh, in the the, the 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 poll section or the the the, the Q and A section of the Spotify. I think you scroll down somewhere. I don't. I don't really know how Spotify podcast works. I kind of just put it on there, and it goes okay. Um. Something it it's something I've wanted to do. Uh, and I guess this first episode is kind of a little bit about me, uh, a little bit about what, where this podcast is going, what it's been, what it's what's going on with it. So we'll we'll start we'll start with that. I think we'll start with um, who am I? I Chicken Tiny Gaming. I am 
young Canadian lad, 19-year-old Canadian lad who is in college, uh, studying advertising, going through a bunch of different different ideas for future programs, future ideas, uh, content, work, things going on in my life. Uh, I'm the owner of five different channels, which is something that surprises a lot of people when I say that. Uh, the five different channels are my channel, Chicken Day Gaming, uh, Tendy2, which is my second channel, Reels and Briefs, which is a group channel that we have not posted on in forever. Uh, the fourth channel is Savin Carter, which is mine and my girlfriend's channel. Again, we still have not posted on for a while. We don't really post on that one too much. Uh, and the fifth channel, which is the Concession Stand Network, formerly known as the Concession Stand Podcast. That is also another podcast I am on um, with my buddy Jonah or Fry Game Gaming, depending on where you're from, who you know him as, if you even know him at all. You should know him. He's awesome. Why is my PlayStation internet out? That's tough, bro. Oh, it's back. <laughs> Another little thing about me, I get distracted real easy. That's probably some some ADHD something. I don't know. Um, this podcast again, it was a it was not gonna be a long episode. It was gonna be a little introductory episode, so I have something out there. I'm hoping to get some guests on in the future. I'm hoping to get some, you know, different not not only my friends. I got some people in mind that I wanna wanna ask and 50, 50, 50, 50 if they're even interested. A lot of them might not be, um, which is understandable i'm a new newish pod newer podcast on um, other platforms other than um youtube uh so what is the let's talk tendies podcast it's a podcast me i speak blah 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 interviews blah, 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 just basic single hosted podcast that's that's what it is uh you can find us so far on youtube and spotify as i figured out i feel like i'm just repeating myself nine times over this is that's that's tough loki that's that's tough uh some more about me i'm on tiktok i'm on instagram twitter uh twitch kick kind of a little bit on everything uh the only thing i'm not on is linkedin but eh, not not really a uh a content account i guess i don't use my my real name in this stuff um if it it's it's so let's talk to any podcast i don't know there's really not a lot going on all at once this is kind of something fun I wanted to do. Um, eventually, there's a chance I could make it a a new channel. I don't really want to, though. We'll see. We'll see. Um, we're gonna talk cover topics every every week, I think, uh, or every time that I'm not with with somebody. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cover some topics, and I think one of the first topics we're gonna cover here. Oh, I wrote it down. I don't want to go find it. I write down bad. Hmm. I got two topics in mind. I got two topics in mind. Now, whatever I don't talk about today, I'll talk about the next time. All right, I got two topics off the top of my head, which is bad drivers and bad teachers. I think I'm going to go start it off with bad teachers. Have you guys ever had a bad teacher? <laughs> ever? Ever? Probably. A lot of you, It's it's with a teacher, it's one of those things where... Uh, where you you remember the teacher's names. I'm not going to give names. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to call anyone out. Uh, if I give out a praise to a teacher, I will say that. Uh, I'll pray. I'll say their name. Call them. Sure, absolutely. But if it's a bad day, I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna not gonna throw anyone under the bus. Even though some of them probably deserve to be thrown under the bus. Uh, one of the most recent, actually, bad teacher moments I had. Oh, there's dust on my. That's tough. That is tough. I'm so sorry. I literally was just eating. I still have my pizza. <laughs> it's not tendies. I know. How surprising. Um, one of the, the 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 one of the worst experiences I had was the. It was actually this year in my PR class, and the irony about it is insane. It's it's PR. And it had one of arguably one of the worst teachers I've ever had in my entire 14, 13, 13, 14 years of school. I did preschool too. 16? 15. Oh, I got a message. 15 years of schooling. Um long story short, it was our fourth. Oh my god, somebody liked my TikTok. 
Um, long story short, it was a, it was I think our fourth weekend, and the first couple weeks she was the teacher was okay. She was she was meh. She was she was okay. She was pretty beginning she was kind of chill there's a little bit where it was like okay well she's an oddball but you know she was kind of chill uh and then it came to the fourth week where it all turned upside down (laughs) it started with her slides and in her slides keep in mind not going to give politics the, the, the political figure. You could probably figure out who the political figure is in PR. I'm not going to give out... Poli- I'm Canadian. I really can't give out political opinions about the United States political parties. But I'm not supporting one side or the other. Let's say this political figure was very controversial. <laughs> and she used it in the PR class. Which, again, I'm going to say great idea for a PR it's a great idea for PR you have such a controversial figure there's so much public relations and you know you have to make so many announcements about them and it's so many big things great idea for a uh, for a PR class and a great example a problem is with how she shared it so what she did is she took um, a one one viewed approach to it which was he did nothing wrong. Again, not giving my political. I, again, think it's a great idea for a PR example. If you do it right. And if you do it right, that is you show both sides. So she was very pro. And she didn't show. She she showed a lot of the, the pro. Or the, the anti political figure and not the, the pro political figure. Which is a great example. I think we're learning about news, which is a great example of you know, we have one side which is very how the news varies with you know maybe if one source says this, one source says that, you maybe might have to give a thing out for the one and not the other. Great topic, except she really dialed in to the point where she started calling her, calling him by the initials. By the initials of the political figure. And that's where we kind of sat there and was like, what? And in the entire maybe 30-something slideshow, there was four dedicated slides towards the political figure and promoting him as a good guy. Not going to get political here. Still think it's a good idea for an example because there's so much around him. But... She clearly did not get that memo about not promoting politics, and she talked about politics in class. Some of you might be saying, that's not the worst thing you could do. We're not done with the day. We're not done with the class. Then she says, for her, um, then we started talking about COVID and how it affected and how the news went on about it and this and that and how there was so much Un, un, uncertainty about it which again great idea for a um for a topic great so many so many press releases were coming out about it so many news articles so many of this so many of that except she said one thing which r- she said a couple things during this thing but there was one that made a lot of people uncomfortable which was raise your hand if you have your vaccine I'm not I going to say I have my vaccine fight me if you want I don't really care. You 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 but one thing I do know you don't ask a you don't ask a class who keep in mind you just met if they have their vaccines or not for a virus which is very touchy for a lot of people. Very touchy. Very touchy and a lot of us we all kind of gave that same like confused look around the class, and I probably will bring in a couple of my classmates to talk about this further um, in fu- future podcasts. But a lot of us kind of looked around like we were so confused on what was happening, and I remember sitting there, and I was I was like, "Well, I have mine, but no one else is raising their hands, so I don't think I should raise mine." 
I, that might have been the same with other people. It's like, well, I also don't really want to tell her. That's not really my, not really her her spot to know. We're not in that that phase anymore where I have to let you know. So, again, not kind of out of pocket, but not the not the best thing you can say, but not the worst. And then this is where I, uh, <laughs> this is the part where I really remember, where she turns to me and she goes, I only had to get mine because my job requ- forced, not, not even required, forced me to get it. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, that's not my, not my news, not my problem. <laughs> We're not done. She also then said, uh, I was afraid I was going to get a tail and an extra hand. Now, me being the <laughs> the smart ass I am, <laughs> mumbled to my friend saying, oh, well, I'd love a tail. How sick would that be? I uh, One thing you guys got to know about me, I'm sarcastic. I'm a smart ass, okay? Like, if I see a smart ass joke, I'm going to say the smart ass joke. It just... It, it blends together perfectly. So we were sitting there and we're all still kind of looking at each other very uncomfortably. Like we don't want to be here anymore. <sighs> we're not done. We're, we're not done. There's still more. Uh, she butchered my friend's name. My friend is Latino. Uh, she butchered it with a very, very, very inappropriate attempt at an accent. I don't even I I don't even know my friend's full. I call her her nickname. I call her nickname. I don't even know her full. <laughs> I don't even know how to say her full name. I just I know her by her nickname, and she was clearly stating at the beginning of the class to call her by her nickname. Teacher didn't respect that. Along with that, um, all around just rudeness from the teacher. So she, there was an assignment where, not even an assignment, all her assignments didn't come with a description of what to do. It was kind of just do these three things, figure it out for yourself. There was no um, expectations that were given and a lot of assignments even still in college even still in work real life jobs especially in the advertising industry give a lot of um expectation here's what you kind of need in everything here's 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 a little bit what of what you need you send it through a couple people they look at it they go oh you're missing this you're missing this with her it was oh here's your three things you need to do uh I'm not really going to teach you how to do it, but you you can figure it out. You, you got it. You can you, you got it. You can, you can figure it. You got it. So I sent her an email. I'm like, look, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have a description of what I need, this and that. And there's also no rubric. You might have to say rubric. Then I proceed to say, and then she answers back, or I think it was marked on something and it wasn't a mark I, or I lost a mark half mark on something and it was like half mark from being perfect and I did that a lot there were so many times where it, uh, maybe three assignments in her class where it was a half mark or a mark off from being perfect I'm like I did this it's basically better <laughs> there was the, the, in there somewhere it was probably it's better than the example you given and there was no explanation of what I needed no expectation given and she answered back you are have you not been and I, I oh I should find it it was something along the lines of, have you not been at the college for three semesters now? I am sure that the teachers, exp- oh, it was formatting, sources. You needed APA sources and a title page, except nowhere in the thing did it say we needed it, which is all understandable. It says, give us a paragraph. You don't expect, if you, if you, if you were given a paragraph without just saying, write a paragraph about this, you would you would think that maybe it was like, okay, you just can in a paragraph. No, I need a title page, references, this, that. And I'm like, huh? I was never explained that I needed that. And she said, Are, you've been at this college for four, three semesters now. You should be expect. have you not been given this, um, have you not been given this expectation forever? And I answered back, 
oh, no, all my assignments come with a description of what I need in it or something like that. I don't remember the exact. It was it was basically I I understand what other teachers have given these um these expectations in a document saying of what is required and a rubric and and this and that and it kind of ended from there. So her one of her biggest final assignments had the rubric spelt final presentation rubric. Um Last time I checked, a Rubik is a Rubik's Cube. Like, you know, the little things where you twist and match the colors with the colors, and uh, you have to make the, the thing all match. Not a grading rubric. Not not how I'm going to be graded. You know what else was really funny? <laughs> that same teacher, she uh, she gave us a very big assignment. Very big assignment. Equivalent to one of our big assignments in the previous semester. So our second semester. One of our assignments in the previous semester, which had so many parts that it was four people in the group. And we had a maximum of three. Last time, last semester, it was a minimum of three. It was so big and such a big assignment, but she was so determined that everyone could do it with less than three. It was me and another guy who you'll probably ooh, probably end up meeting in future podcasts if they're interested in being on. And it was such a such a bad, bad class. Such a bad class. Turns out it's her f- second year doing it. Her first year, she did stalk one of her students' Instagrams and said that he was so handsome that he should model true story. I got I got vouches for that. It wasn't me. I'm not that handsome. I mean, <laughs> I'm the handsomest dude in the world <laughs> in my dreams. Um, <laughs> but it, it was such a bad, such a such a such a bad bad experience with her. Uh so many she i remember she f- focused so much on having the correct grammar spelling this and that and she couldn't even put correct grammar in her slides and couldn't spell the word tiktok as in the app tiktok you know the one that auto corrects you when you spell out the app tiktok she wrote t o c k no t i c k t o c or something tiktok tiktok Tick talk. I don't know. It was it was really bad class. I learned nothing in it, and I somehow ended up with a ninety. Don't know how I did it. I'm just him. I'm I'm Himothy. At that point, I'm a genius. Okay, like give me the Nobel Peace Prize. I'm so good. I'm so smart. Go me. Uh, ooh, another. I'm trying to think of other bad teachers I had. My grade. 11 English teacher caused me so much anxiety. I don't know if I've, ex- oh, I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel. So my grade, high school grade 11th, was that sophomore? I don't, I don't know the grading. I don't know how it is in the States. So the 11th grade, the year before you high school, or the year before you graduate, I had a English teacher. Don't remember his name. Don't really care. Somebody would probably tell me I would remember it. He uh, wasn't the fondest of me. And I've learned a lot of people aren't that fond of me. And I've come to believe it. But back then, it was kind of like, you're a teacher. You kind of need to suck it up for class. You kind of need to like suck it up. You, you you have me for an hour and a half. You can deal with me. Um, And I, I show up to class one day. Uh, you mind? I don't High school wasn't my best times mentally. It wasn't. There's was a lot of things going on in the mind that really didn't uh, didn't click, and I wasn't really happy. A lot of things just happening all at once. Basically, a lot of things were happening. Um, you know, when you hit a certain age, your body. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but it it just one of those one of those one of those things. Uh, oh no, it was a grade ten. It was grade 10. No, it was grade 10. That's where it was. Because I haven't, I didn't start dating my girlfriend yet. It was grade 10. Um, before the lockdown that put us all in line. So it was one of my, it was the first semester of 
college, uh, grade 10. That's freshman, right? That is, no, that's sophomore. Fre- freshman's, okay. Figure that out later. So it's it's my grade 10 um, English class, and it's, I remember this day pretty, f- it, was, it was an okay day. Uh, at this time, I wasn't eating breakfast. I always felt sick. Anyone else have that where you feel sick when you eat breakfast too early? I don't know what that is, but I don't know. It just happened to me. Uh, so I come in. This is the last class before the day ends. Type. I think it was the last class before the day ends. Uh, we are whatever. I get in and uh, just not having it that day. I'm not really having it that day. It's not really a good day for me. Uh, I show up, walk in, teacher goes, what's up? And I'm trying to talk to him about something. He wasn't really talk. I don't think he was talking to anyone. I think I was just trying to talk to him because I sat right beside his, like I was just placed beside his desk because uh, how the order was, I was just there. And I'm, 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 I was, I was literally just trying to talk to him about, I think it was the Leafs or the Jays or something. And he turns around and he goes, oh my God. Can you stop talking? And he turns to the class and he goes, Would you, who thinks Carter should stop talking? And everyone put their hand up, maybe except for a few people who I was relatively close with and kind of whatever. And I remember looking around and I remember just feeling like shit. <laughs> I remember just feeling horrible. And I, I, I looked around and I'm like, Oh my god! I think that's what really hit me that not, not a lot of people were fans of me. We're, we're not a lot of people were very big on me. This is not like a feel bad for me type thing. I'm just giving my experiences. Honestly, you feel bad, feel don't bad. I don't really care. It's just my experiences, my memories, memories. Turn it. Uh, I don't think that's the words. Anyways, um, I remember sitting there. I'm like. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be in this class. And it was at this point, it was later in the year or later in the semester. So I really couldn't change classes. I was kind of past that, that time. And I just was not having it. I remember sitting there and I was like on the brink of tears. I'm like, how could a teacher say that about me and this and that? And, 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 and I'm supposed to be the one. And it was just, just horrible it was bad it didn't go i was not happy at all i ended up graduate or i ended up moving on and i was put online i think that was the happiest i was because i hated being in high school i hated the i hated every a lot of people in there i did meet a lot of my friends which was great but i hated 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 the work and i hated a lot of the people who went to my high school because they're all kind of just they they were not the nicest people. I think a lot of my friends can vouch for that that they were not not the nicest people. Um, but that was definitely one of the times he compared me to some like writer. He said I looked like a writer. I don't even know who the writer is, but you compared me to some writer, and it. I also wasn't too fond of that, which makes also a lot of sense, but. To each their own. Apparently, I look like a writer. Go me. Um, whew, I'll try to do one more if I can remember. I'm trying to think of like my. You know, I, I might. I might throw a praise out to uh, a couple. One of my teachers. Uh, who did I really, really love? There was so many. In college, a lot of teachers. There's a lot of teachers I like. There's a there were very few I didn't like, but a lot of teachers were like really chill. One of my favorites. I'll give two. So there is. Well, I can give, give three. I'll give little short stories on each of them. So I'll start with uh, my design teacher Steve, Conforti, uh, owner of actually We Are Creative. Uh, agency really chill guy honestly his work was easy it was really nice he was really chill really understanding he was he was in the the mindset of you get your work if you need extension let me know like honestly i his (laughs) the the joke with the class was honest if you need time 
I understand I don't mark anything anyways because he was really bad with marking. But he was he was such a chill. He, he is still such a chill guy. I actually did an assignment on him uh, for my entrepreneurial class where I had to inter- interview an entrepreneur. And he, I asked him, I'm like, yo, hey, sup? Do you mind if I interview or interview? He goes, absolutely. I would be honored. And he was, it was a great interview. Um, really good. To, I loved picking his brain on how art and design and entrepreneurship. It was just really chill. Um, he's also one of those guys you can kind of go to the bar with and hang out with. And he's same guy as he is in class as he is out of class. Like he's really chill guy. Next up, uh, we'll go Nikki. So my teacher, media planning, media buying teacher, Nikki, she is and was, I don't think I'm going to be in her class next semester. Not, no. So Nikki was really down to earth, really chill, really like under, a lot of them are really understanding. She was really, really chill. Um, And she honestly kind of just, was uh one of those where you kind of like an older sister more than a than a teacher she she really didn't she had that attitude like do your work do it well i'm here to help but you got it you can figure it out i'll put you in the right direction but you can figure it out. she was like a, she was like a the equivalent to an older teacher or an older sister uh, she also worked in a marketing agency and she toured it, but I wasn't able to, I worked that day, so I wasn't able to make it. And she was really understanding, really, uh, such a really, 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 uh, understanding teacher. Really, really sweet. Last one I'm going to give a little praise to, um, she might actually see this, uh, is Debbie. Uh, she, long story short. We were having some trouble in a group member uh, with 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 groups. She, we we didn't want to work with one of them because they were very they weren't professional and they weren't uh, the the guy wasn't it just wasn't the best to work with. Uh, didn't really do his work and when he did it, it wasn't a, to our par and he wasn't it just really bad, really bad to work with. Um, and there was one point where we were kind of done with him, like done dealing with his attitude and his is his work and and whatever so we had this whole kind of falling out uh we wanted him out of our group and debbie was trying to and i understand it entirely she was trying to play good for both uh so she let us uh she let us not have him in our group but she wasn't going to give away the marks which is understandable she's it, it, and he got to use our work, but he didn't want it, whatever it was. Uh, but beyond that, she was the really, really smart with social media. She worked social media for years. She was just super, super smart when it came to posting and when it came to using the right things and the right social medias and when to post. And she's such, and I'm, I'm having her again in sports marketing. She worked in sports. She's such. She, she was so so good at just social media which is something i was really interested in she even got um through her connection she got different people to come into class one of them being uh his handles todd collins i don't know if that's his name i, I do not believe his handles todd collins uh everywhere uh she got him to come into class and talk to us i actually want to see if i can get him on my on this podcast again don't know if i will 50 50 but it was one of those where it was uh it was really cool to have him come in and again very into if it's something where i'm very interested in like social media design sports love picking people's brains about it um actually one of my favorite i can talk about this after um but she she was so helpful when it came to everything and so understanding and she just wanted the best for us which is awesome uh, so I'm happy to have her again. We got to pitch for a client in front of a in front of her, and I think we did well. I don't know how well. By the time this comes out, I don't know who who won that pitch, but it was it was really cool in the end. Um, it, was, it ended up being such a cool, like those three were really big standouts for us as a as a teacher or as uh, teachers. They were really, 
really the the, the fresh breeze that we could expect and uh, you know be kind of excited for at the end of the day uh in the end of the like with that all the bad it was they were the good and they were there for us and they also let us rant about the teachers we didn't really like which was really really nice um yeah they were they were awesome uh there was a couple other teachers in there that we liked uh who were really chill or really understanding a lot of them really really chill and really understanding which is uh going to be a future podcast episode where i'm going to talk about the differences between college and university or college and high school for those who are graduating or good thinking about going into college maybe a little bit of worry that's gonna be a future episode i got a couple ideas locked and loaded i just haven't recorded them yet so this is the first episode uh we're gonna be talking about teachers bad teachers good teachers the good the bad and the understanding it's probably what it's going to be called <laughs> um other than that man uh podcast oh what was i saying oh documentaries uh so the sec- I, I like a lot of you don't know this i love wrestling a lot of you might know that if you're from my youtube again subscribe if you're from spotify follow um you might not know that go check out my youtube i have a couple of wrestling videos on there i just really love picking out the mind of things that i like and wrestling is one of the few that you really get an insight of how things work, how this and that work. Anyways, it was kind of just a clap off that last. I, I like watching documentaries and watching things of how things work and how things came to be and whatever. Uh, other than that, man, uh, I rambled for 30 minutes. That's impressive, I think. Um, definitely not my longest. My teacher was really apparently pissed off by that. Um, let me know if there's any topics you guys want me to cover in the comment box below, comment section, wherever it is. Uh, I also want to give a little shout out to the Yappy Hour podcast. Uh, ooh, I just hit my entire setup. <laughs> a little shout out to the Yappy Hour podcast. They uh, they gave me a little shout out in their podcast uh, in one of their, their recent episodes. Uh, if, this, uh, if this is up before that, thank you guys. If it's up after, thank you guys. Um, appreciate the shout out. Long story short, actually in Debbie's class for that pitch to our client, we ended up using their podcast and I actually got uh, Jonah's permission from the Yappy Hour podcast to use it. And he said, go ahead. It was awesome. I was super stoked to use it. Uh, it was one of the things where I was, we, we, for social media, we were like, oh, let's use a podcast. And we wanted to, you know, a couple different ones, bigger, smaller podcasts. And it was really, it was really cool. Really cool in the end. So I just want to say thank you guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel from this podcast, uh, thank you for checking me out. Thank you for listening. If you made it this far, if you have yet to follow, consider doing so. Um, I don't really have podcasts. Well, my other podcast, my buddy, we kind of go back and forth, and I kind of edit like a YouTube video. I think that's kind of the same here. Um, follow, subscribe, check me out on all my socials. It'll be linked down below. Uh, check out my other podcast if you're interested in sports. We don't post as we don't post a lot, but we kind of post when big news happens. Uh, if you're from the Happy Hour podcast, again, thank you guys so much. Um, hope you on that one day. I just need to learn how to drive a highway. I can talk about that one. <laughs> I can talk about driving, maybe in the next one, uh, and different experiences while driving. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, follow, subscribe, check out my socials, and I will see you guys in the next episode of the Let's Talk Tendies podcast. Man, it is awesome to say that again. (sighs) We're back, baby. We are back. Peace.